So first round boxing. Johnny Tello, Daniel Kerr. Left hook from Tello. Kerr using the jab. Misses the cross. Tello's such a crafty boxer. This is uh, this, The advantage goes to Tello in this round, but Daniel Kerr is a, a great Muay Thai fighter and a kickboxer, so this is not strange for him. Great body work from Tello. See the sweet head movement as well. And loading up on his combos. Tello always representing Rage Fight Academy and Rage Fight Gear very well. Very, you should be very proud of this student of yours. His partner is a student. He's the... He's so tricky, so evasive, Tello. He's got Kerr in the corner. Kerr biting back well. Beautiful jab to set up the shot to the body. Johnny Tello getting a like a t-shirt sponsor is genius because he wears a shirt anyway. Like a fat kid in a swimming pool. I've been I've done this joke five fucking times. He knows it. He knows it's coming. He knows it's coming every show. But that's genius to get a then a shirt sponsor. Here we go. Both so much experience, but the footwork from Tello is impressive. And those body shots starting to build up now. Yep, Johnny knows what he's doing. Not a lot of wasted effort. It's really accurate on his strikes. 90 seconds left in the first round. Boxing. Trinity rules. I'm thinking Kerr's a little surprised by the, the speed, the accuracy of Johnny Tello here in front of him. Daniel Kerr will be looking forward to getting kicks involved later. Tello's boxing is always impressed. Yeah. Next round's gonna be, a, again, we're doing boxing round one, Muay Thai round two, MMA round three, so don't go anywhere. But this does seem to be favoring the more natural boxer, Johnny Tello, here in round one. Tello really finding his timing well as well. And there's the head movement. Beautiful to watch, using the jab. Dan Kerr really needs a better haircut. <laughs> he wears that weird kind of like, like Ebenezer Scrooge hat all the time, and I think he's forgotten about his hair. You can take it more seriously. Johnny Tello looks fantastic, though. So slick, Tello. Kerr coming back with a nice little flurry there. Doing our holding his own. Definitely holding his own. And a wry smile from the Canadian-Mexican. Left to the body once more. Yeah, Dan Kerr's not an easy out. He's a thick dude. He's a very, very strong guy. He's not going away. So Tello's got to kind of make sure to pace yourself, Johnny. Now Kerr's having his moments, using the jab well, but you just look at the comfort level of Tello in there. It's, it's a sight to behold. It really is. The uppercut is so cheeky, just slides it in between the guard. I think he's one of the more underrated fighters on the planet, to be perfectly honest, dude. 100%. Starting to let go with his hands a little more now, Tello, but Kerr with a couple of body shots ahead of the bell in round one. Way to be. Johnny Tello never disappoints. Quick with the hands. But if you've seen the size of Daniel Kerr's legs, this round's going to be different. Johnny's going to have to either evade these kicks or to block kicks from Daniel Kerr. Even if you successfully block it, you are taking damage, you are feeling pain. It's not a pleasant place to be, ladies and gentlemen. The replay's confirming what we saw in real time, the slickness of movement, the speed of Johnny Tello. High level stuff. It really is. He's really comfortable, especially boxing. But it is that one nine so he, he did I came up with the promotion, but his one nine minute round of MMA where he eked out a gritty uh, victory over Gilbert the the white Tuber Al Bronco, the white great white shark. Uh, was really impressive. Gilberto's so talented. He's a talented jujitsu practitioner, MMA, boxing, everything, and, and Johnny beat him in every category. It was really fucking impressive. Trinity's probably perfect for Johnny too, you know? Wait for the, if I need my MMA, we'll do it in the third round. Trinity rules, hailing from back in the day when Full Metal Dojo was at the Ambassador in Bangkok. Let, let us know what rules is this now? Round yeah, two Muay Thai, Muay round Thai. two, Muay Thai. No, it's Muay Thai. Now we're looking for more from Kerr with the kicks. And immediately the story is different because Daniel Kerr can kick those things like nobody else. Um, bear in mind, perhaps there is still beer on the canvas from the Tommy Hayden fight. There definitely still is. It's Thailand, though. They've they've definitely dealt with worse. Kerr looking to be cheeky with the teep. And he's got a real arsenal of kicks in his locker, Daniel Kerr. Oi! Cheeky knee got there. Body shots and the knee from Tello. 
you know, this really does favor Kerr, but he seems like he might be running out of little gas. And tell those findings inspiration. He's also exceptional at Muay Thai. Like, he used to be a like, trainer at Fairtex. The guy's fucking awesome. And now he rocks hard at Rage. Oh, the head kick glances off the face from Daniel Kerr there. The left hook from Tello. Do you want to talk in the mic? Digging to the body, Johnny Tello. Teddy's on strike. He's just like... Oh. Spinning back kick, Daniel Kerr. He goes for an axe kick. Spinning back kick in turn from Tello. Anything you can do, I can do better. Disguise on the kick from Tello. Another low kick. Kerr switching stances. Fake the spinning attack, Tello, and just evades the body kick. Kerr checks and marches forward. Left hook from Tello. And then the right hand. Again, it's slick stuff. Spinning back kick again from Kerr. Kerr enjoying this round much more now, really showcasing the full range of his weapons. Trinity rules never disappoints. Just when you think you know what's going on, we change up the rules and somebody becomes the alpha in round two. Dan Kerr here. Might be ta Oh, Johnny Tello, show him what he does. Two to the body from Johnny Tello, beautiful. Try something spinning, but get something to the chest. That's the slowest spin I've ever seen. It really is. He moves like about... I'm not going to lie. Yeah. You're correct. It was about 24 hours. It was like the earth. Head kick, can't oh. do it. Kerr tried to sweep, couldn't do it as well. Both fighters, good on the defense and good on the offense. Beautiful knee on the inside and two kicks from Kerr on the outside. Tello mixing it up, doing great here. Like, again, he is unbelievable at Muay Thai if that's his focus. Ten seconds. Ten seconds called in round two. Muay Thai. Dan Kerr definitely winning over some of the fans here in this round. He's a tough bastard. He just looks so much more fluid when you add the kicks in. Very much at home. No, no, no. Anyone just joining? Boxing round one. Muay Thai round two. MMA round three. This is the main event of FMDX. I'm sitting over alongside my twin flame, Luke Welling. And of course, Andy Whitelaw is in the building. You're Best commentary team. This side of the Mississippi. Oh. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. John is speaking with Daniel Kerr, and some surprises are happening here, ladies and gentlemen. We might have a controversy. Big gloves. You can do it. You can do it. Dan Kerr has no excuse. He speaks perfect English. We explain the rules to him. If he doesn't know there's a third round and it's MMA, but they have boxing gloves on. So, again, it's Trinity rules with boxing gloves. So, MMA with boxing gloves. Seconds out. One three-minute round, I do out. believe. Yeah, the jiu-jitsu portion of this fight might be quite problematic with the gloves. I think the, it's going to favor Johnny Tello. Like, uh, he doesn't need to get mauled by Dan Kerr here, who's a really strong prick. Chris Kirsch in his corner with some last minute advice for his fighter. Your in his thick German Your accent. Time. Round three. MMA. Conditioning, cardio, gonna be pivotal now in this third and final round. MMA, Trinity rules. Closing out the main event, FMDX. 10 year anniversary party. One three minute round of MMA, Dan Kerr versus Johnny Tello here. Johnny Tello always looking to put on a show. I thought you were going to say shirt. Well, that too. Oh, nice fake from Kurt. Certainly still plenty left. An invention shown by the Kiwi. Spinning back kick. Wildly off target from Tello. Great fight so far. Probably give round one boxing to Johnny Tello. Round two Muay Thai to Dan Kerr maybe. And round three is going to be really important. MMA with boxing gloves on though. So I don't think takedowns are going to be tough. Tello looking to set things up with that double jab. I'm betting Kirsch's advice was like, if he falls down, stomp on his fucking head. Because that's how he won his fight. It's proven effective for sure. Yeah, generally. <laughs> it's generally not ple pleasant. Here we go. Clinch work. Oh! Johnny Tello with the takedown. Tello nailing the double leg, working from half guard. Big moment in the third round. As soon as I start thinking Johnny Tello doesn't have that kind of game, he shows he does have that kind of game. Tello 
multifaceted. Kerr defending well so far. Oi. Kerr catching a little. Watch out for that knee to the head there. Yeah. That's the knee to the body. That will sap the gas tank at this stage in the fight. You do not want to be here with FMD MMA rules. Knees to the head of a grounded opponent are legal. 12 to 6. Elbows are legal. Soccer kicks are legal. Johnny Teller might get his first FMD soccer kick if he can clear a little space here, ladies and gentlemen. Now he's back down into the, the Kerr's guard here. Kerr just kind of surviving. I'm surprised. Only really a minute to go in the main strong. event. Johnny Tello on top as it stands, but Kerr doing work from the bottom. Kerr maybe looking for an armbar. Kerr can't get a finish to get out of here quickly. I think Tello might sew this one up with a strong third MMA round, but oh! Tello seeking a submission finish, perhaps. Looking to take the back. And he does. The rear naked choke is on for Johnny Tello. And he gets the tap. Goodness. With the full-size boxing gloves on, Johnny Tello secures a late takedown and a rear naked choke of Daniel Curry in round three here of our Trinity Rules main event. Unbelievable scenes. Johnny Tello, a fan favorite, gets the submission. The rear naked choke showcased the full range of his skills here tonight. What an absolute legend. One more reason why you should train at Rage Fight Academy, ladies and gentlemen. Right. What what a show. We are wrapping up here. I think like all the midgets are going to get in the ring. Don't go anywhere. We, end, we always end with a fucking bang. And then after this, we're not going away. Mr. Fight is taking over. We're going to be people punching each other in the stomach for money. And amateurs just like, I don't know, kicking each other in the balls. It's going to be great. Don't go anywhere. Main event. One round boxing. One round Muay Thai. Run round MMA. Johnny Tello in the red corner. Dan Kerr in the blue corner. For each and every one of you joining us tonight. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining us today. There are no losers in this dojo. After being in the dojo for 10 years and having a 10 year anniversary, I don't give a shit what you do. I may not be successful on the scorecards of power and money, but we have more fun than any other organization in the world. And Full Metal Dojo gets to do this in Bangkok for another 10 years. Full Metal Dojo, 10 year anniversary. Give me the chance. FMD, 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 FMD. And your winner, Johnny Tello. Johnny Tello, fan favorite. Member of the Full Metal Dojo family, this couldn't have ended any better than the way it did.